Okay, I think we are good to start today's webinar. So Peter and Jade are going to take us to the warm and sunny aisles. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves first. So uh, Peter, you're going second today. So would you like to tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is? Hi, everybody. I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. We support the sales and marketing activities in the UK and Europe of this wonderful new hotel on the island of Barbados. It's called Wyndham Hall Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So it opened um, just under a year ago. I'll tell you a lot more about it a little later. And if you're paying attention, you will have the chance to win either £50 credit to your My Booking Rewards account or a US 60 dollar credit to your account. So speak to you later. Look forward to it. Thank you very much, Peter. And we also have Jade. Jade, welcome. Hello. Thank you. It's nice to be back in my normal place as a presenter. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm going to be talking to you today about True Blue Bay Boutique Resort in the lovely Caribbean destination of Grenada and today we're going to give away one point on our rewards platform which you'll learn about a little bit more later but that one point will give you £10 or um, one free night, I had to really think about that then, so you get to choose. Perfect, thank you very much Jade. Okay, would you like to take us off to Grenada to the beautiful True Blue Bay Boutique Hotel? Some best of that sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. So for those that um, haven't seen me on these webinars before, my name is Jade and I truly have the wonderful pleasure of looking after True Blue Bay Boutique Resort in Grenada. My contact details are on screen. I'm very active on Facebook. We put all of the latest information, promotions, agent incentives and everything that you would need. So please do connect with me on there as well. So I'm going to skip past, um, as I will run out of time, um, the video into Grenada, but really that just highlights how much of a different kind of landscaped Caribbean destination it is. It's very blue, but it's also very green. There's lots of adventure and activity that you can do on island. It's very, very popular for diving. We've got some of the most best dive sites in the world, so we attract a lot of divers. Um, it really does just have something for everybody. A tiny little island um, that the average temperature is 28 degrees Celsius year round. So it's a very nice and stable temperature. Um, and a tiny, a tiny island that you can drive around in less than a day, um, just 21 miles long by 12 miles wide. So in terms of getting there, obviously for those agents that are listening in from um, the US and Canada, you have got multiple flight options that come out of the US and Canada, much more than we have here in the UK. Um, but for those agents that are listening um, from the UK, Virgin do fly um, twice a week out of Heathrow and you've got the three weekly flights with British Airways out of Gatwick. They both have touchdowns, but the clients don't have to get off the aircraft. It's quite a quick turnaround process for those that are disembarking. And introducing the Field and Family. So True Blue Bay Boutique Resort um, is family run and owned, which I think makes it super special. So you can see the Field and Family here. Um, the owners, Russ and Magdalena in the middle. Their two daughters, left is Marie and right is Renata um, and the granddaughter, Leela. So it's so special because when you're on property, you will um, bump into the owners and they're in and around the resort. They're doing jobs here and there. And it's really, really nice to connect with them and just see their passion for this resort. They purchased it back in 1998. So um, they are celebrating their 25th anniversary this year. And back then it was known as the True Blue Inn, which only had seven rooms um, and it was the former Indigo Plantation. And I've been doing a lot of reading on this. I find it fascinating. And for those that don't know what an indigo plantation is or was, um, it was a plantation that actually grew the plant that made the colour blue indigo. So that was used very much in dyeing foods and um, textiles, wool and things like that. Um, and that's why some of our rooms are called indigo and true blue rooms. That's where that all comes from, which is quite interesting. Um, and now it operates as a four star property um, in Grenada with 70 rooms that the family have expanded on. And it's truly a wonderful, authentic Caribbean experience. We will start with a short video and then we'll go into some more details.
Jade, so, sorry, sorry, I thought it was my computer, but you, you're talking like an alien. So I don't know what's happened with the sound, but something's gone very, very funny. Yeah, I'm hearing the same thing, unfortunately. No, it's very, you sounds very, very, you sound like an alien. It was fine before you played the video. And then when you've come back on now, it's, um yeah, you sound like an alien. Not that I know what an alien sounds like, but... <laughs> Sure you do. <laughs> yeah, she's just gone to get some headphones. Uh <laughs> yeah, I don't know why why do we use these sorts of things like you sound like an alien? What do, how do we know? Here she is, she's just coming back on with her headphones. Hello? Talk, Jade. We can't hear you now. Sorry about this, guys. Um, you know what it's like with technical issues. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Keep can talking. You now? Yeah. You can, I can't hear you. It's, do it's dodgy, Jade. It's very, very dodgy. Um, I don't. Yeah. Hello. It's something to do with your computer because if you can't hear us, you're you're just hearing the this something. Um, yeah, it's not working. No, can't hear. I think Jade, you're gonna have to go away, maybe come out, come back in. Um I'm apologize for this guys and Peter will take us um on his section because we need to sort the sound out because we can't hear you. No problem. I'm happy to step in. That's okay. fine. How does my sound sound? Sorry about that. We'll see Jade in a moment. We're now going across to Barbados. Please bear with me a second. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> hmm. Right then. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thanks for your patience. Um, so I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. Wyndham Grand Barbados opened up last October um, as the newest five-star luxury all-inclusive resort on the island of Barbados. Um, it's now the largest property on the island with 422 lovely rooms and suites. Uh, it sits on the Sun Lord's Castle estate. Now, whereabouts is that? I'll tell you a little bit later. But who is this guy, Sam Lord? So Sam Lord was a pirate and a bit of a vagabond um, back in the 1800s, so over 200 years ago. He lived on the island, and his home was this lovely castle. It's actually more like a, a British manor house than a castle. Now, why did he become famous, and why did he have this lovely estate? Well, um, how he grew his wealth was by being a bit of a vagabond and pirate and, and plundering the ships. How he used to lure them on, sh on shore was by getting his to hang lanterns in the trees that run down from the from the manor house or the, the castle down onto the beach. These lanterns here would glow in the dark and would trick ships arriving into British Harbour to think they were actually already at the harbour. So what the ship's captains used to do and the navigators used to do, then turn towards the lights and the lanterns and then run aground on the coral reefs that used to sit offshore here. So the fringing reefs off the beach. Um, Sam Lord then used to go and send his band of merry men and women out to then plunder the ship's cargo, steal it and take it on board and use it for his own ill-gotten gain. So that's a bit of the story, a bit of the history. The castle is, is a protected heritage site. Um, it's a government-owned heritage site. And actually, the whole hotel is a government-owned hotel. It's been built by the government. It's a brand new build built from scratch over the last six or seven years. Um, and it is now part of a new tourism strategy. And I like to think of it as a bit of a game changer for the island of Barbados. This hotel is unlike any other hotel on the island. Um, it's big, number one. 
Um, most of the other hotel, uh, hotels on the island of Barbados are small, independently owned, family run, apart from a couple of others. Um, but this hotel is designed to attract a different type of guest to the island of Barbados. You may think um, of this hotel as, as being, you may find you like a lot of the in Mexico, in the Dominican Republic, or actually in Jamaica. It's that type of resort that's quite different to most other hotels on the island. So where are we located? We're located a short 15 minute transfer from the international airport, air, airport called BGI. Um, and the property is located on the southeast coastline of the island. Now, airlift from the UK is plentiful. You've got through the winter, double dailies with British Airways and double dailies with Virgin Atlantic out of Heathrow, out of the London airports. Um, you've got winter services out of Manchester with Aer Lingus um, and also with Virgin Atlantic. Out of North America, you've got direct airlift from most gateways. Delta restart operation in November, flying direct into uh, Barbados. So you've got a great choice of ways of getting to the island. Now, the island isn't that big. Um, it's 21 miles tall from north to south by 14 miles wide. Easy to get around. It's safe. And um, to get to the Bridgetown, the capital, is about just on a half an hour from the hotel. Um, Oystins, which is very famous on a Friday evening for its fish fry, which is down here on the south coast, is about 20 minutes away. Um, it's a real Barbados institution to indulge on Friday evening in a local Bajan delicacy of fish fry on the beach, get your toes in the sand and dance the night away. So that's a very popular way. Lots of other things to see around the island. The nice thing about the hotel is located very close to the, the Atlantic coastline which is this east coastline. Bathsheba is a very popular surfing beach. And if you've got surfers or windsurfers or kite surfers as clients, then this side of the island is very popular because the breaking waves come on. But the good thing is we're on the southeast um, coastline of the island, which is protected from the open waves of the Atlantic. So on arrival, you arrive at the Breezeway lobby. You disembark your transfer vehicle from the airport and you've got this impressive lobby to welcome you to the hotel. It's open-ended. Um, you have a, an individual guest check-in on the right, group check-in on the left. You walk to the end of the breezeway and you then overlook the main central swimming pool area. Um, we've got in total six swimming pools at the property. Five are open to all guests um, around the resort. And we have adult-only swimming pools and family-friendly swimming pools. And then our sixth swimming pool, sits within the spa area and is res reserved exclusively for spa guests using the spa. Around the pools, you've got cabanas, which are complimentary currently. You've got lots of lounges, parasols, lots of shade. So it's a lovely welcome experience at the property. In total, we've got 422 rooms, of which there are 37 luxurious one-bedroom and two-bedroom suites. So all the rooms uh, were built to face either straight towards the ocean or sideways towards the ocean. We call those resort view rooms. And um, there's no rooms facing inland, backwards, away from the ocean. So the property has been built with modern guests in mind. And um, all the balconies of all the rooms are very spacious and they're very spacious. The smallest room um, is 650 square foot in size, including the balcony. Now, as I mentioned, every room has a balcony. This happens to be a lovely spacious balcony of the one of the one bedroom suites, um, but they all have a very spacious balcony. Now, we don't have any standard rooms at this hotel, but what we do have, our lowest priced room is a deluxe resort view room with a king bed. So very spacious. And these rooms are minimum size, 650 square foot. The king bed sits in the middle. It floats in the middle, shall we say. Uh, behind is the headboard. Behind the headboard, you've got a desk area, uh, obviously for writing or, or whatever you want to do on the desk. Underneath the desk is a mini bar, which is stocked and replenished daily. It's replenished with waters, juices, soft drinks, and beers. And um, you've got an espresso coffee making machine. Tea was made with a kettle, and the bathroom area is in the sliding door behind the bed there. So that's the king bed configuration. And um, also we have deluxe ocean view rooms with two queen beds. So we, we control the inventory by room type, which is deluxe category. By view, you've either got resort view or you've got ocean view. And then we've got control it by bedding configurations. You've either got king bed or two queen beds. And the nice thing about um, this property is that we have a large number of interconnecting rooms that connect a king, a deluxe king, into a deluxe room with two queen beds. 
um, in both ocean view and resort view categories. So um, great for families in that when they connect with each other, uh, you can take up to two adults, parents and five children. So wonderful for families. And this property is a family friendly, all inclusive resort. The bathrooms are spacious marble, uh, two separate sinks, separate uh, bath, shower, separate WC, and as you can see, very large, lovely, modern, contemporary quality bathrooms. Now, the nice thing about this property is we have a large number of um, accessible rooms, some mobility accessible rooms for guests that may have walking difficulties, maybe in a wheelchair, and the bathrooms have been created specifically for guests with those challenges in mind. Um, Step-free access, wider doors, the bathrooms are, are roll-in shower, you've got grab rails, so you can see that it's it's been created with the needs of the mobility guest in mind. And the nice thing about this property is that in, the guest will have step-free access from the Greensway lobby all the way up to the rooms, to all the pool areas, all the bars and all the restaurants. There's only one area that currently has a few steps, and that's down to the beach area from the upper level of the property. We then have 37 lovely, luxurious one bedroom and two bedroom suites. So the terrace suite is very spacious and all the suites are located on the top two floors of the hotel. They all have wonderful ocean views and they all have at least two balconies to them. Um, so this happens to be a king bed and all the suites have one king bed and in the living room area, you've got um, a convertible sofa bed, a double convertible sofa bed. Now in the living room area, you've got a, a lovely marble uh, dining table and um, that wet bar there is where you have your Nespresso coffee machine your tea and coffee um, making facilities underneath you've got your min bar stocked and replenished daily and every room at this property enjoys complimentary 24-hour room service seven days a week so the suites are really modern contemporary very spacious our end of the suite for example has dual aspect windows and uh, balconies off the, the bedroom area so I hope you agree they are modern, very bright and light. So it lets the light flood in um, to all the room areas. Um, the Zephyr Suite is the next category. Uh, a larger living room area. Again, lovely balcony off that. Great for families or for guests that really want that extra bit of space and extra bit of luxury. Our largest room currently in operation is an ocean suite. And these are located on the top floor. Um, they are the largest suites, biggest uh, living room area, largest bedroom area. And the other big thing is that it's got the largest balcony area with a soaking hot tub out on the balcony. So you can relax in the hot tub and watch the world go by and look out to the ocean in peace and quiet. So really lovely, modern, spacious, contemporary rooms. So as I mentioned at the start, this property is five-star, all-inclusive. Um, and just to go through the all-inclusive inclusions, we have all-day dining, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, free stock mini bar, 24-hour room service, international bar name spirits uh, from all bars, cocktails, and beers. Now, by international bar name spirits, for example, the standard vodka at the property is either Absolute or Stolichnaya vodka. The room do stock premium brand, top shelf uh, brands as well, such as Grey Goose, Chirac, and Belvedere Vodka. Those are available at a small additional supplement paying the local and chargeable to your room account. And glasses served with meals and from all bars by the glass. Wine is served by all meals by the glass from all bars and with meals. At the moment, we have a good selection of restaurants available. The Mediterranean Marketplace, as its name suggests, is inspired by the cuisine of the Mediterranean. It serves both buffet and a la carte uh, style restaurant. Um, it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and is our largest restaurant on site. Castle View is our uh, fine dining restaurant serving steak and seafood. That is available to guests aged 13 years and above. So no young children at that, that restaurant to preserve the quality and the ambiance. Um, Samuel's Grill is our more casual dining affair with indoor and outdoor seating, elevated American fare, burgers, pizzas, snacks, wraps, salads, etc. Burns Cask is our adult only rum bar, and that serves a choice of over a hundred different types of rums from across the Caribbean and other parts of the world. And don't forget, Barbados, if you didn't know, is actually where rum was invented over 200 years ago. Uh, the last bar is the Lantern Pool Bar, and that serves as homage to. Sam Lord um, and the lanterns that used to be hung from the trees um, to, to, to lure those arriving ships. 
So this is a different view of the property. Looking back uh, from the south, heading north, as you can see the beach area, the, the property sits on a, on a limestone shelf um, above the beach, about 20 foot above the beach area. The castle you can see there, and the walkway, there's, there's about 20 to 30 steps sitting um, from the castle down onto the beach area. We are aiming to create a ramp which runs down here and then down onto the beach from this area. That is work in progress at the moment. So there's lots to do on the property. Lots of activities and entertainment. We've got tennis courts, pickleball courts. As I said, we've got six swimming pools. We have a fitness center, gymnasium, um, a lovely spa. Nearby is the Barbados Golf Club. So you've got that. Don't forget those East Coast beaches of uh, the Atlantic coastline, which are great for surfing, windsurfing and kite surfing. Um, so lots to do on the property as well. In addition, we offer complimentary shuttle transfers every Friday to the Oystein's Beach Fish Fry. That's every Friday evening. And these are complimentary return transfers for the guests. And on Wednesday to Carlisle Bay on the south coast, which is an alternative beach area that guests are able to take advantage of the complimentary shuttle transfers from the hotel to those two locations. So we are a family-friendly property. A great children's club, children's club um, aimed at children's age 4 to 12 years of age. Under, 12, under 4 can join the kids' children's programme, but we ask that either their parent remains with them or they are potty trained. Lots of activities on, on site for children. Um, daytime activities, we've got arts and crafts, sandcastle making, jewellery making, picnics, nature walks, etc. And then in the evening, a good entertainment programme as well with kiddies' discos, movie nights, talent shows, etc etc so the children's club is complimentary for guests with children um babysitting services are available at an additional charge and they are currently 15 us dollars per hour for up to three children lovely spa for adult guests um this has seven treatment rooms a great choice of treatments um also next door you have a hairdressing salon and a nail bar as well and we've had very good reviews for the spa at some lord so a great facility for guests to relax and unwind. Weddings, we have an amazing wedding team designed to create weddings that are unique for, for your guests. Um, very popular and easy to get married in Barbados, so not too many legal issues to, to, to take care of. We have the largest event space on the island, uh, the largest ballroom. Um, in front of the castle, we've got the Castle Lawn, which is a great venue to get married in. You can get married on the beach, or you can have your wedding breakfast on the Castle Lawn or in the banqueting facility. So a great choice, and we're also popular for meetings, conferences, and incentives as well. The, the, the ballroom can take up to 800 people in theatre style. We've got executive meeting rooms, but I think most of your guests or your clients are going to be on holiday, aren't they? This is a very basic map of the resort and it, it aims to explain the layout of the property obviously you've got the beach here and you've got the ocean here so there's five blocks one two three four five the six swimming pools are located in different areas um then here is the spa and the gym number seven is the ballroom and conference center this is our arrival courtyard so you arrive from the roundabout through the gate into the courtyard area and this is where the disembarkation point is and the breezeway lobby is sitting in this area as well so that's just an overview the castle's here and the 30 steps lead from the castle down onto the beach there that's just a quick overview i'm going to play you a quick video hopefully it brings the property alive Thank you very much for joining me today. More information can be found on windenbrandbarbados.com. Have a look at the website. I will also send you a link in the, um, the messages and the chat to access um, a link tree page where you can download fact sheets and images of the property as well. So thanks everybody for joining us today. I hope you found that useful and I hope you can now hear Jade. I hope so. Hello. Hello. Peter, Jade, can we hear you? Hello, hello. 
Yes. yes. <laughs> I can be heard. <laughs> that was a strange blip, wasn't it? And I'm it glad it's back to normal. Peter, I love hearing about your um your pirates though. Very good. Me. Mm. Once a pirate, always a pirate. <laughs> Right, where were we? So we just watched the video and then I turned into an alien slash robot. Um, so what I wanted to say was that video really did just summarise how much of an authentic Caribbean stay it is at True Blue. So if somebody really wants to immerse themselves in the local culture and authenticity of the Caribbean, this um, beautiful property does a great job of that. We are now a four star hotel and we offer bed and breakfast, half board and all inclusive meal plans but most of the clients will actually book bed and breakfast. And we absolutely encourage them to do that as well because Grenada is somewhere that you should get out and about on foot and in a car, explore the destination and um, eat in some local eateries. We've actually got the university just um, to us on the right-hand side. So the whole area outside of the hotel has a lot of pop-up stands, street food, um, little bars and restaurants. So it's a really great place to actually go outside of the resort as well and explore that. So this is a map of the resort and what it looks like when you come in from this main road here and you'll get to reception. And what we've done with the accommodation is just kept them really simple. So if you're in a Cocoa Pod um, suite, you're going to be in this section. If you're in a villa, you're going to be here. If you're in um, the, the standard rooms, you're going to be here. So you, you kind of can't get lost once you know what room category you're in. We sit on this wonderful bay area. Um, so we have a small beach. Um, it's a lovely beach, but we are in this big bay area. So we've got lots of boats that are coming in and out. And obviously the famous Grand Dance Beach um, in Grenada um, is the one that everybody wants to go to. So we do offer complimentary transportation to that, which we'll learn about a little bit later. And then you can just see the restaurant here, Doggy Dock. It sits right on this waterfront. Um, so it's really amazing views as well when you're eating any meals with us on property. And in terms of facilities, we have four swimming pools, a yoga studio, um, the House of Chocolate Bakery, which is amazing. From the minute you wake up and step out of your room, you can just smell nutmeg because they put that in everything. And the smell is just wonderful. So I recommend a visit to the um, House of Chocolate Bakery. Um, we also offer non-motorised water sports, the complimentary shuttles um, to three different beaches in Grenada. We've actually got a dive centre on property as well, a spa. We now have two bars, so we have the rum shop and we've in, introduced our new Vibe Pool Bar, um, which opened just a few months ago. One restaurant and a really quirky um, thing that we've added for families to do is an escape room called Black Beards Brig. That's also a tongue twister. But this is a, a you know, all ages um, property and we do get a lot of families that stay with us, lots of friends, groups, multi-gen families. So we're really trying to bring in some activities and things that families and friends can enjoy all together, no matter how old, you know, um, people in the family or group are. So complementary added values, some of the tour operators shy away from promoting the fact that these things are included for every single booking that's made to the property. So you get those three um, free transfers to the three different beaches, including Grand Dance Beach, two complementary yoga classes at our yoga studio, non-motorised water sports and a tour of the House of Chocolate that's in um, St George, the, the capital down in downtown. So onto the rooms, um, we've only got four different types of room category and then the view changes of some of those. But our leading rooms are the true blue rooms. And these really are the ones that are going to be for those budget travellers that um, are maybe looking to spend more on excursions and out and about. So these are very um, price friendly um, and every single room category of ours does come with some form of a kitchen. So they get a bit bigger in some of the bigger rooms. But I personally love having the access to the kitchen. Um, I have a four-year-old myself and he has different snacks and different demands that he wants, you know, no matter where we're traveling to. So it's really, really handy to have that, especially if you're a family with young children. Our Coco Pod rooms. Um, so these are quite new rooms that were introduced in 2019 by one of the owners, Marie Fielden. She has an absolute passion um, for doing her best to make sure that they're doing everything they can um, to make the planet, you know, a greener place. Um, so they introduced these climate smart rooms in 2019, which they've won a lot of awards for. They were one of the first of their kind in the Caribbean. So the rooms just are really good um, at reusing energy um, in a really efficient way. And the appliances and their solar water heaters, and they're very, very eco-friendly. Um, and everything that the, the hotel actually do, they've won a lot of awards um, 
to just do better in the local community as well. So not just in the hotel, they'll be out visiting schools, educating the children on, you know, being a bit more climate smart. And they really do a great job of that. We also offer four different types of suites. So the suites are bigger. Um, so they have a main bedroom and, and then separate living area um, as well. So if somebody wanted more space, then these rooms are great for that. Um, the view just changes with the name. So we've got tower suites, garden suites, waterfront suites, and honeymoon suites. So the honeymoon ones are the only ones that will take two people. Um, all of the other suites will actually take um, two adults and two small children. So it gives families a bit more space as well. Waterfront, as the name suggests, um, photo in the top left, you're right on the bay there. So you've got these amazing views. The garden suite, you're right in the gardens and there's lots of um, like animal life around the gardens and you'll see lots of different animals and birds. So it's really quite a nice location to be in. And the tower suites are my personal favourite. Um, from the master bedroom, you walk up a spiral staircase up into your own tower and you, you can just sit on a chair up there and you're looking over the whole of Grenada, it feels like. So that's my absolute favourite, favourite view um, of the suites. And then we have five two bedroom villas. Um, so again, if you're traveling, if you're a larger family or you're groups of friends and you want that extra space, um, the five bedroom villas, villas will sleep six people and they're on two floors. All of the accommodations on the ground floor and then you come up um, to the upstairs and you've got this humongous open space, full kitchen. Um, and you've also got a plunge pool out there as well and a really amazing views and direct access to the main pool. So if you want to be in the best location on property, the villas are right um, opposite the run bar and on the main pool there as well. And then complimentary added values for those in villas. Again, something that not everybody is aware of. If you're booking seven nights or more in the villa, then your clients can choose um, an additional added value as an extra. So they can have complimentary three-day car hire that the hotel will arrange or a dinner cooked by a private chef um, for the family for one night. Um, um, they'll literally come in and prepare a meal based on the things that you like or if you wanted to try oil down which is the national dish dish of Grenada so you can really use that and have this wonderful Grenadian food prepared for you and your family and we also offer adapted rooms and um, so we offer seven different rooms that are adapted so all of the adaptions have been made for those that are wheelchair users um, or just need things that are a little bit lower down we're almost fully accessible. We've just got to do some work on the spa and the yoga studio, and then we'll be 100% accessible friendly. But in terms of getting from rooms to restaurants to everywhere else on property, um, you know, we're, we're very, very well catered for that. And then on to Dodgy Dock. So this is our one restaurant that we have on property. We only need the one because we're a small 70 room hotel. So breakfast, lunch and dinner will be served here. And how we mix that up is we have different themed nights throughout the week. Um, so you can see there on Monday, we have pizza and wings, Tuesday, et cetera. Um, but Wednesday really has become such a famous night at the hotel. It's called Street Food Wednesday. And it's a lovely concept that the hotel came up with to invite local vendors um, into the hotel to cook the most amazing Grenadian food. Um, so you, you literally walk around all these, it's like a food market and you walk around and choose all the different dishes that you'd like get to try everything and then there's some amazing entertainment um, from local Grenadian bands that are quite well known as well that you can dance away to in the evening. I always say that a night in at True Blue on a Wednesday is like a night out so it's really nice for those that want that bit of entertainment and um, whilst keeping that authentic Caribbean and Grenadian feel um, to that as well. So we do have a spa. Um, this is somewhere where you can get, you know, massages, facials, manicures. We don't have um, saunas and things like that. It's purely like a beauty spa. Um, and you can have lots of chocolate treatments. And they're so pure. It's pure chocolate. If you had a facial, you could literally wipe it off your face and eat it off of your finger. It's that natural, um, which is quite fun. Um, and then we have the yoga studio. So again, Magdalena, one of the owners, she has a real passion for wellness and she literally drew on a piece of paper how she wanted this yoga studio and said, I'm actually going to have this built on property. So she designed this. Um, you walk up some stairs and you've got this wonderful open treetop house that looks out to the ocean and you don't have to be, you know, advanced at yoga um, the classes are suitable for everybody. You get two of those for free if you're staying on property and Magdalena will be there at eight o'clock every morning doing that class as well. So it's so nice to see one of the owners enjoying that um, addition that she put into the hotel as well. So non-motorised water sports we also offer, so paddleboard, toby cats and kayaks. 
But we have partnered with Aquanauts, which some of you, if you're dive specialists, you'll definitely have heard of them. Um, so they run our dive operations out of the hotel. We are literally five, well, 10 minutes away from the famous underwater sculpture park in Flamingo Bay. So anybody that wants to snorkel and do that even, I personally don't enjoy diving. Um, it frightens me a little bit, but I did snorkel it and I really wanted to see the underwater sculpture and it's just 10 minutes from the hotel. So there's lots and lots to do from the bay um, in terms of getting out for diving, snorkeling and exploring all of those things on water as well. Very family friendly. Like I said, we get a lot of families that stay with us um, as well. Kids under 12 actually do stay free. So if you've got families with children under the age of 12, they will stay and eat for free with us, which is a really great perk. We've got two playgrounds, a trampoline and an amazing kids club as well with um, lots of different entertainment going on for the children. We actually offer um, three hours complimentary childcare per day um, in our children's clubs Monday to Friday for parents to use if they want to. And we've won a lot of awards for sustainability, as I mentioned. I mean, it's a really important topic in this day and age anyway, um, but the hotel really are making a difference with everything they're doing inside the hotel and out. And they've won a lot of awards for this, as you can see. I won't read them all out, um, but they're always, always looking at ways that they can be, um, you know, greener and kinder to the planet. And then agent incentives. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, it's true blue, true at blue bay um, It's the one stop shop for everything true blue. We've got all of the fact sheets and images and stuff like that. Um, and most importantly, if you log a book in, we will reward you with points that you can turn into cash or free night stays, which is really good as well. For those UK agents, um, these are the operators that you can book us through. You will find us through various different bed banks and other third parties, but these are the guys that we're really driving business through that are our preferred partners. So hopefully those in the UK, you're able to utilise some of those. And the best bit, we've launched some agent rates um, last month. So we really want to encourage agents to come out and stay with us um, whenever they can. So if you're visiting Grenada or you just simply want to come out for a week, um, we do offer rates now from 53 US dollars per person per night on bed and breakfast and $99 per person per night in all inclusive. And if you've earned any free nights um, from making any bookings, we will actually let you combine them with the agent rate as well, because we really want you to come. You cannot understand True Blue until you've seen it. It's just such a happy place. Um, and that real Caribbean authenticity just keeps you smiling. And it's just something like, you know, I haven't quite experienced before. So please bear us in mind if you're unsure of where to go on holiday or vacation next year, because we would love to have you. And in a very small nutshell, because I could talk all day about True Blue, that is it from me. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jade. You've made us all want to go and sample all the chocolate. So, yeah, it looks an amazing little um, hotel. So thank you very much for taking us to your little piece of paradise. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so we also have Anna. Anna, are you there? Anna? There she is. I am. I am. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. It was a bit, you know, chaotic this morning. Like, uh, wow. But I'm glad to be here doing another webinar with my bookings and work. So. Super. You look fantastic. So um, is your presentation all ready and organized? Yeah. Give me a second. Share. Yes. And um, you don't have a video, do you? Hmm? You don't have videos, it's just a presentation. No, I don't, I don't. No problem, um, that's, that's good. We don't have to then do the to, sharing, um, so. Be better now? Yeah, it's just sharing. Wonderful. So let's take this on the road. Good morning, everyone. I am Anna, I work for Ocean Hotels, and I'm here to present our hotels in the Caribbean. So hope you um, enjoy. Uh, after, well, we see a picture of this lovely couple with their kids walking around the beach, and underneath there's a band with all of our brands. Uh, uh, our brands are privileged. Um, Anna, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. We've still got the black message saying Anna has started screen sharing. Can you oh. stop it and start it again? Because it's it's gone... We're not seeing the picture that you've that you've got. So if you just stop sharing and then share again, and we'll try it again because it's it's 
it's trying to do something but it's not okay yeah yeah I see these I I totally see it share yes what about now oh perfect thank you technology um we will never perfect it or (laughs) dominate it totally I don't think so um I guess that's why we go to the Caribbean to disconnect of all that technology processes so um as I was saying under this lovely couple with their kids we have all our brands that that is that all the brands that we that we have at Ocean Hotels so Privilege is um, is for those uh, guests that want to have uh, more of an upscaled um, or I would say exclusive um, experience. Perfect Day summons all of our weddings and celebrations. So we are a company that likes to celebrate. So from wedding to graduations to communions, whatever this family is celebrating, grandma's birthday, we like to celebrate. So please let us know and we'll proceed accordingly. Um, Daisy clubs are for the little ones, for the ones that need uh, supervision, but they still want to have fun and learn and be engaged in community with kids their age. Um, Then we have the teenager club. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Teenagers don't want to know anything about the parents. They're cool enough to do their thing. And we have teen teen clubs specifically for them, place they can gather, be more autonomous and enjoy. Well, the blue team is our animations team and my, uh, well, meetings and events. Um, and by H10 Hotels is the brand for meeting and incentives. Um, so let's continue. We are a hotel chain where hotels are all based in the Caribbean, in the Mexican Caribbean, in uh, the Dominican Republic, as well as in Jamaica. And we offer all-inclusive for families to fully enjoy, forget about costs of everything. Everything is done, just come and enjoy. Um, So we offer um, limited a la carte dining. So all of our theme restaurants are open for all of our guests. There's no one time a week, two times a week is unlimited. Um, some of the restaurants, the most popular ones, uh, require reservation, but there's no limit on how many times you can come. Um, let's start with the Dominican Republic, where these people is making me jealous this morning, in all honesty, um, in front of uh, the lighthouse at Ocean El Faro. So Ocean El Faro is uh, one of the two properties uh, that we offer for our guests in Dominican Republic is uh, by far the biggest, wider one. Um, and this is a beautiful, beautiful place from the lobby to the meeting rooms to piano bars. It's a place, it's very wide, very broad. It's a, a hotel where, you know, it can be full to the rim, but it does not feel like it's ever crowded this is common uh for for most of our hotels um if not all big pools big spaces uh but not big enough that you're gonna lose your family you know it's not one of those uh this room has 910 suites um 10 restaurants 14 bars four swimming pools um and two sections, very important. We have a family section. Uh, so I would say from the lighthouse uh, towards the lobby, which would be going towards the beautiful mountains back there. And then the section for adults only is called El Beso. And you can locate it here on the on the right side of the screen. Well, I'm looking at the screen. So on the right of the screen. Um, this is a separate section exclusive for adults only and these allow us to have multi-generational groups coming to this property beautiful whether is a wedding or an anniversary or um you know any celebration that calls for a big family group uh we can ensure that each person each guest will find its corner of this resort that's going to be happy because we have swim ups, we have uh, suites, we have royal suites, we have 
privilege. We have daisy rooms, which are the ones in front of the of the uh, children's water park. Um, we have uh, plenty of uh, different rooms to accommodate all of our guests. Uh, this hotel was the first one at Ocean Hotels that we incorporated a lazy river, lots of fun. And this is a real lazy river, meaning it's covered with forest. It's not just a pool with a motor. It's, it's, it's covered with palm trees, it's really involving. And uh, of course, we have a swim up bar uh, in the uh, lazy river as well. Uh, each family room at Ocean Hotels, and you will be seeing these over and over, so it's going to be a bit on the boring side here, uh, offers a um, bowling alley, which is not boring by definition. I mean, any group that we have wants to have a competition and bowling is kind of like part cheesy. You don't really want to, but you're going to do it and you're going to have lots of fun. Um, so let's continue. As we, we were saying, we have all kinds of room for our guests. The Royal Master Suite, beautiful, very spacious rooms. We have rooftop suites with um, jacuzzis and outstanding views. And we have a very wide, really beautiful blue beach. The lazy river here was little. You see the plants, so it's an early picture, but now it's completely covered. And our bowling alley. In each family hotel, we have a full-size bowling alley for everybody to enjoy. If you have a competitive edge, this is your place to come and have fun. We also have a bar at the bowling alley and snacks. Uh, Pez Vela, and sometimes, you know, it's a sailfish or it's a, or another kind of name of a fish, uh, are the restaurants that are in front of the beach. And those are by far my favorite. At nighttime, for some reason, people tend to gather where most people is, but the reality is that the, the, these restaurants in front of the beach are absolutely amazing to have a dinner experience. Oops. Um, we have Route 66. This uh, restaurant is, um, offers, sorry, this is going alone, uh, offers um, American cuisine, uh, American barbecue, or North American barbecue for all of our guests. So from a fried pickle to a, a, a sweet potato fry or apple pie, we have it here. Ocean Blue and Sun is the second hotel we offer for our guests in Dominican Republic. Uh, it, is, it has a beautiful colonial style and definitely the best vibe. Um, this is our hotel that people visit um, with big groups sometimes. And again, big pools, two huge swimming pools, a casino, a bowling alley, and uh, a place where you really, you know, the rhythm never stops here. Um, our rooms, our junior suite rooms are completely renovated, all of them. So all of the uh, rooms at the resort look like that now. And I have to mention this because if you have had the opportunity to visit our hotel, now you know we have uh, done incredibly well at renovating these rooms. We have pool views and this is our beach. Lots of palm trees, beautiful uh, restaurants, always in front of the beach for all of, of our guests to, to enjoy. The bowling alley in this hotel is perfectly located below the team club. So you have a lot of um, uh, people in, in this bowling alley. This is our buffet restaurant. And Sensei, all of our hotels um, have a um, Asian, hotel, whether it's Sensei or Yokoso, uh, we have the two modalities, um, the teppanyaki tables, but we also have sushi bars. So it uh, uh, depends on the, on, on the hotel. We'll have both of them. Uh, Steakhouse is one of our most popular restaurants. Um, people like steak and, uh, um, you know, here you can find fine cuts of meat and beautiful wines uh, that go with, uh, that pair with them. Um, Mexico, we have uh, moved to Mexico. And here we have three hotels. We have uh, an adult only hotel in Riviera Maya, 
with 320 suites. This is by far our smaller property, but it's also um, the most, um, I would say, secluded and intimate of all of them. Um, it is an adults only property, but I highly recommend this property for couples because this is not a fast paced resort. It is an escape of tranquility, a place you're surely gonna have fun, uh, but it's more, I always recommend it for, for, for couples, always. This is, those are some of our rooms. And uh, the overview of what the resort looks like is a villa style hotel. And all of our privileged guests are in a building. So you can be between the villas or the big building. Two big pools as well. These hotels don't have a, uh, a bowling alley. And the reason why is because it's not a family hotel, it's an adults only one. Some of our restaurants, Blue Moon is our, is our adult only restaurant. Um, it's uh, always romantic themed. So whether you are in an adult only restaurant, I'm uh, sorry, on an adult only hotel or in a family hotel, we always have a Blue Moon restaurant where you can leave the kids and take your sidekick, your loved one, your romantic partner for a beautiful dinner and enjoy. Ocean Coral and Turquesa is the closest hotel to the Cancun airport and one of my favorite properties. And why? Because I'm a beach walker and we have over a kilometer uh, of beach in front of our resort. And obviously you can go north and you can go so south, but you have a lot of beach. Um, also, you have a lot of beach ocean view because the structure of the hotel uh, with 590 suites we have nine restaurants and 10 bars false four swimming uh pools uh one per section or one by this uh u or inverse u shaped uh, sections very green hotel two theaters a bowling alley and um it's very 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 close to the airport this is how our rooms are finishing looking. Um, and the reason why I say that is because this hotel is also in the process of renewing all of the rooms. Um, the section that you see here particularly is the privileged section um, and the adults only section. Some of them combine, some of them don't. And those rooms are all renovated already. I hope I have a picture that I can show you here. We also have a bowling alley, Italian restaurant. And um, I don't see a picture that I can show you, but I can surely send you all a picture after the webinar is done. Um, Ocean Riviera Paradise is the third hotel that we have in Riviera Maya. It's the closest one to lovely Playa del Carmen. Uh, some guests choose to go directly through the beach, walk to the beach all the way to Playa del Carmen. It might be a stretch if you wanna go to Playa del Carmen and go dancing and shopping, um, but um, you are literally 10 minutes from Playa del Carmen, on a, on, from Playa del Carmen from a, with a taxi ride, excuse me. Um, this is a large resort with four different sections, uh, 970 suites, 10 restaurants and 12 bars, four swimming pools, actually five swimming pools, uh, because this last one is the closest one um, to the beach. We have a daisy um, area where, or daisy section for families with little ones. It's located in front of the water park and close uh, to all the amenities a parent might need when wake up, waking up in the morning and finding you have a hungry child. So closer to the buffets, closer to the coffee shops, closer to the lobby, closer to anything um, urgent. Um, here we have incorporated an arcade, which is an extra cost, but out of, we have the bowling alley, the water park, and we have placed an arcade here. Um, 
every is the the arcade is free to come in and snoop around um but the games are uh, an extra pay more some of more some less um and the games that we are talking is virtual reality rooms escape rooms laser tag which is a big arcade i'm going to take a look at some of the rooms we have here the junior suite rooftops are so beautiful because they have the, the jacuzzi and the outstanding views. We have swim up rooms, very popular rooms in all of our hotels. Rooftops in this case with a, with a view to the, to the forest. And this is our beach. In front of our beach, you see the Eden pool. Um, we also have um, the Pez Bella restaurant in front of the water. And also, although you cannot see it, we have the privilege section, all the accommodation for our privileged guests with their exclusive bar and exclusive lounging um, chairs and services on the beach. Bowling alley as well. This is the restaurant from the inside, which it's lovely because it's very windy, not extremely windy, but windy enough that you always have that, that breeze coming from the ocean. It's a perfect place to take family pictures too. Blue Moon is our adult only romantic restaurant at Ocean Riviera Paradise. Exquisite cuisine for exquisite dates. Sakura here, one of our Asian restaurants. The steakhouse at Ocean Riviera Paradise offers uh, selected cuts for our guests. Here's the arcade. I wasn't uh, kidding. It's a big arcade and hopefully all of the machines and all of the games will make our, our, our younger ones delight. From Mexico, we have jumped to Jamaica and we're going to Montego Bay. And from the airport of Montego Bay, we are, I would say, 35 to 45 minutes from the airport, depends on how uh, heavy footed is our driver. Ocean, so um, we have two properties in, uh, in Montego Bay, in Jamaica. They sit in the same piece of land, one next to the other. But they are, let, let this be very clear, two different hotels. One hotel is conceived to host families and the second hotel is conceived for adults only. The beauty of being one next to each other is that um, the adults only at Ocean Eden Bay can cross over to Ocean Coral Spring. So they have the services of two full hotels, which makes for the adults only in, in Ocean Eden Bay an amazing experience. For Ocean Coral Springs, we still have six restaurants, a very large swimming pool, a bowling alley, an arcade now, it's not here, but the, I know the arcade is already open, and a beautiful lazy river for families to have fun in. Um, when you go to Jamaica, there's a lot of offer in the Montego Bay area on different uh, properties, obviously. And, and that's kind of the beautiful thing of our industry. So many hotels, so much offer. But I noticed something very important about ocean hotels in general is that they are very spacious. I mean, I have seen this hotel to maximum occupancy and there's no way that pool is ever full. Think about these when you send your guests to other properties. How many pools this uh, hotel offer and how big or wide the spaces are? Because sometimes I feel like being on vacation, it has to be about expanding about having the space, about having that little corner of the world that is only for you. And so I would not be comfortable in a big crowded place. Um, just uh, this was something that banged on my head 
last month when I was in Jamaica, uh, looking at the pools and like, we're never going to fill these pools. They're so big. We also have uh, swim up rooms for those guests that not only like to enjoy the wideness of the pools, but they also have to, um, sorry, Sarah, telling me something. Go ahead. No, sorry, I'm just saying that you, you're running quite over. So can we wrap up? Oh, um, thank you, we're that's yeah, fine. We're over the- you know um... what? <laughs> mm -hmm. I will show you the room. That's it, very easy. So we have swim up rooms and privileged master suites, rooftops, and Ocean Eden Bay. Look at the pool. It's gigantic, but instead of round, it's square. We're gonna look at the pool. Very elegant rooms. Very comfortable too. And you have a view of the beach. Obviously we have an adults only beach and the family side of the beach. This is our lazy river huge between both hotels, our bowling alley, Sally, uh, Indian restaurant, sugarcane, West Indies speciality, because we are in Jamaica. And that's it. I'm going to let it here because you all know that we have a Daisy Club and any, um, any questions that you might have, please send me a question and we'll answer them. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to have rushed you, Anna. We just we're, we're, okay. we're quite short of time, and I don't like it going on too long uh, because the agents have to get back to work. So thank you very, very much. Um, okay. Um, the Jade has had to leave, and so has Peter as well because they've they've both had prior appointments. Um, has anybody got any questions for Anna? Um, so Anna, Anna has asked, what kind of evening and daytime entertainment do you have? We have uh, from daytime and evening. So let's start with daytime. We have entertainment in the pools in form of sports. We start really early with, uh, with uh, yoga classes, uh, running, running groups that need to do uh, run together. Uh, we have ob obviously the gym that's 24 hours and the entertainment happen mostly around the pools right uh, then during dinner time mostly after dinner time there's always live music in the avenues the avenues are where all the restaurants are um, you people gather in the avenue um, there's always live music there we have amazing uh, shows in the theater um, and actually in Jamaica we have a dine and and show experience where you see a Bob Marley show uh, while dining. Um, if it rains, the entertainment um, the entertainment uh, uh, groups move to the covered areas in the hotels and they will do anything you know, family entertainment from karaoke to mimics to theater to anything that's required to to keep. But mostly it's um, um, live music, um, dance lessons we do. I mean, I can I could send you like a, a full program if you need to, because there's a lot. It's oh, like thanks, all day. Thanks. Mm hmm. Thank you. Uh, Anna is a bride who wants to have a wedding at Ocean El Faro. If the bride and groom arrive before the wedding, um, can we do a, a menu tasting? And how many days a week is the buffet restaurant by the water open? The, the restaurant by the, by the water is open daily. Uh, about the tasting menu, this is something that 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 I have to 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 ask to the wedding managers because obviously everything can be done i just don't know the conditions if he wants if the broom or the bride want to come early to do the tasting menu i mean that should be something that is always done yeah mm -hmm. okay perfect yeah. last question what are the hours for the casino in dominican republic they open like i believe from six to late at night okay wonderful Okay, mm -hmm. so Anna, you need to think of a question that you've covered during your presentation because all of the agents have got the opportunity to answer it to get an additional, ten, well, to get the 10 points. Um, so uh, Peter and Jade have left, but they have 
been kind enough to give me their questions. So okay. if you could stop sharing, Anna, and if everybody can go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone. So as a reminder, if you are on the webinar attending today, you get one prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger with the correct answer, you get 10 points. And then I'll put you all into a spin to win and let you know who the winners are. So the first question is, you remember Peter, who had his pirates in Sam Lord's castle. Um, his question today was, what is the name of the rum bar, adult only, or Erica, your fast that has over a hundred rums? Of course, Erica, you have the correct answer there. It is the burnt cask. Just popping your name down here. Okay, and then Jade, um, she's got her question today is, which room category will sleep six people? I think you've got to be specific with what sort of villa it is and how many bedrooms. Here we go. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, uh, you've put two bedrooms, but you haven't put villa. So Colleen, uh, two bedroom villa, you have the correct answer. I'm just going to make sure that there's nobody else above you that said that. No. So yeah, Colleen, you are the fastest finger with the correct answer for that one. Colleen, right, just popping your name down. And Anna, your question, please. My question is easy but mighty. So um, what amenity ocean hotels have repeatedly in each single family hotel? It could be two answers. Could be one or two. So let's have a look. Scrolling right up, Louis said, bowling alley good job <laughs> so that would be a correct answer what was the other one mm -hmm. oh it could be um a blue moon restaurant because oh. we have adults only restaurants at every family hotel <laughs> Perfect. so lewis you have the answer massive massive thank you to everybody for attending today i am so apologetic that we've been very very late but i'm sure you've all appreciated that we've learned a lot, a lot and we had a couple of tech issues and a thank you and a big thank you to peter and jade as well for the super presentations. I will send a follow-up. If you have any questions, please reach out directly to them. They will be copied in so you will see them. So thank you. And Anna, thank you very much for your super presentation today. Have a good day. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.